This patient with pseudoexfoliation desired correction of a relatively high amount of astigmatism. And at the beginning of the catalyst procedure, you can see here that we have a relatively small pupil as detected by the uh, computer. And we are going to adjust the pupil diameter a little bit smaller. This is consistent with pseudoexfoliation on the slightly smaller uh, capsulotomy diameter at 4.6 passes the margin safely and now we're going to check axial and sagittal views for fits of surfaces to the cornea and lens and we can see that the pupil is still outlined appropriately and therefore the patient has not had any significant movement capsulotomy is applied in an efficient manner and then the lens cuts and fragmentation and softening is applied as well once in the OR, the orientations are marked for the incisions and the lens placement, and viscoelastic is used to expand the anterior chamber. The cannula of the OVD is used to test the capsulotomy, and there are some areas that may still be attached. So using utrata forceps, this is carefully separated and we can see that we have complete separation now and sensor and then removal hydrodissection is important as it is in any case however with pseudoexfoliation we want to be paying particular attention to capsular movements especially during this hydrodissection as well as achieving a good rotation which we do this is a fairly dense cataract about approximately grade 3 nucleus. The original uh, chopping motions here liberate some additional gas bubbles. The hydrodissection proves very useful in maintaining a gentle rotation of the lens and then the lens is segmented I've gone to a burst pattern of uh, fake emulsification using the torsional ultrasound and as you can see here this provides a very controlled manner in which to remove this softened lens The burst pattern uh, permits me to increase the frequency of applying ultrasound by depressing further in foot position 3. Additionally, there is the linear control of the amount of energy applied with each burst, and therefore a very efficient and controlled manner of applying the energy at the amount and frequency that's uh, apparently needed for each piece as it's liberated from the rest of the nucleus. I find this burst pattern provides a nice balance between ultrasonic efficiency as well as um, minimizing the amount of fluid that uh, as you pass through the eye. Coaxial irrigation aspiration is my preferred method of cortical removal at this time. And I find that the laser treatment provides uh, minimal hindrance to evacuating and mobilizing the cortical elements from the capsular bag. It's also important to note here the stability of the capsular bag. As in any case with pseudoexfoliation, we're always attuned to issues that may uh, indicate zonular laxity. We also want to evacuate completely all of the cortical remnants to prevent uh, asymmetric capsular fibrosis. 
and that may predispose to anterior capsulotomy phimosis. Everything appeared very stable during the surgery. Uh, however, I do like to ensure that we'll have as much stability for as long as possible, so I placed a, a capsule retention ring and this uh, T6 uh, single piece acrylic torque lens is placed in the capsule bag. Viscoelastica is evacuated posteriorly and then anteriorly and then using a second instrument the lens is oriented properly according to the preoperative marks. Here, a little. here at the conclusion you can witness the keratoscopic view from the Mastel keratoscope as well as the pseudo-exfoliated material on the anterior capsule bag. Thank you.